Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be a nice idea to show you guys which pictures have been keeping me busy the past few days, weeks, even months. Um, the, as you know, uh, out of previous videos I've been in not in a really in a coloring slump, but I just focused myself on other hobbies and I was coloring on and off, only did it when I was really in the mood to color. But the past few days I really have been enjoying myself again, coloring, using all my materials, glitter things up and yeah, it was uh, quite, quite happy times. So I thought, why not attack the whips that I'm... Um, that I have for weeks or months even. Um, I want to finish them as soon as possible because I still love them. And um, yeah, I want to share which ones that I will be working on soon and which pictures that I have recently um, yeah, finished. Now, I have to say not all of them are in this stack. I have published a few already on Instagram. If you're curious which ones you can take a look over there, but these, the, the pictures that I will be showing you now, are not published yet. From this book I did publish my whip, but the finished picture has to be revealed. And it is this one with the frog. I finished this in October but started it sooner or earlier in the year, I think. I hope I'm going to lift this a little bit to be able to show you the glitter and the glossy accents on the lanterns, the glass. Some mushrooms have glossy accents. These bulbs here have glossy accents. And all the wings of the little flying friends have stickles. I'm going to put it down again so that you have the full picture. So, uh, now to remember which materials that I have used. For the background it was uh, Caron Dash Super Colors. For the snails, um, Prisma color, but with the base of Supra color. I did base their bodies and the shell with Supra colors. Same for the leaves. Um, the frog is entirely Prisma color, I think, without a base layer. Um, the girl, I think, Prisma color too. And most of the greenery is a super color again um, with a, a shade of pencil and I think it's a prisma color as well. So it was a nice picture to work on but it took quite some time because there are a lot of details and uh, yeah if you're just coloring on and off this was really a long a long whip. I didn't finish it in a day or two like I used to in the past, so, uh, but I'm quite happy with the end result, but I still have to upload it on my Instagram account. So that's the first one. Then we are taking a visit at the Soulmates coloring book by Hannah Carlson. I've started this double page spread, I think a week ago. I had started to color some details, then left it yeah, for about a week. And yesterday I, uh, I've determined myself to finish these ones. So it's the queen and a bunny. Now I'm going to try and bring it closer. It's easier that way than to zoom in every time. Refocus. So here again, the glossy accents. I've used quite some gold paint. I've used stickles. 
I've used glitter gel pen and I've used um, a metallic paint because I thought her neck was too thick so she's wearing some kind of yeah satin looking blouse or under yeah not underwear but so that's her and again the bunny some glitter a lot of gold also going on on his body stickles on this ball thing he's holding and so yeah sorry if it's a bit wobbly but only with zooming in you won't be able to to see the the used materials like the glitter and the, the gold I don't, at least i don't think so if i'm going to yeah a little bit but it's always nicer to see it up close um for this picture i've used supra colors by Dash again uh, for the background for the clothing the skin of the princess is artisa color pencils um the chair I've done with luminance with a shade of white Holbein pencil because the soft Holbein is really super white and yeah I like the effect that I can achieve with it. Uh, the bunny is also super color. I wasn't feeling a fur uh, face plus I'm not too good at fur yet so I prefer giving uh, animals a cartoony look or yeah I don't uh, use fur very often I, I I really want to learn it better but yeah I I, I don't have the courage all the time <laughs> so um, and his clothing is also super color with a touch of luminance here and there just in the darker areas um, yeah that's about it at first I wasn't too happy with the queen because I given her a, a pinkish purplish chair and it just yeah wasn't suitable and then I decided to work with darker shades of red from the luminance set and yeah afterwards it was perfect as uh, for my feeling at least so I hope you like it will be uploaded uh, on Instagram soon also. Oh yeah, one thing I have noticed with the glossy objects, I did, I have uh, had a problem in a book once that it uh, sticked on the other side. I don't know if it will always be the case. I believe it was in this book. With this uh yeah here it was um a bit ripped because this um glass thing um was glued to this side although i had waited quite some time to close my book still i had a, a bit of trouble but it has been the only time since so let's hope i won't have trouble with the hannah carlson book now I'm going to show you the whips that I'm working on and the first one is right in front it's this girl and I'm really impressed with how I did her wings I had to think hard to remember how I did it to be honest so if you would like I can uh, make a video about it how you can accomplish such wings I think I left her because yeah I wanted to make her a bit special with all the colors in her skin but she's looking beaten up a little bit and yeah I thought hmm but um, she already has some glossy on her eyes and her lips and that's the only special detail so far 
But uh, yeah, I really want to finish her. I have to think of the background, how I'm going to do that. And yeah, which older colors that I will be using. But I'm sure she will be uh, lovely once I am done with her. And the second page also has these wings so maybe you can already see that I did use a alcohol marker for a base layer um, so it's it's really quite simple you put down your base marker then you shade in with some pencil following the lines that Hannah already drew and then you go on top with a light greasy pencil like the Prismacolor the Derwent drawing the soft white holbein maybe the luminance white not sure if it's soft enough maybe it is mine is quite hard it's i have a scratchy white one so it's not always easy to use that i've used the holbein white but um, i will gladly show you the process on this page or another if i find another lovely fairy with uh, maybe her so everything is possible so that's one of the whips that i will be finishing soon then we can take a look at the whimsical world big book by molly harrison i really love this book it has a lot of cute pages and i decided to start this one because i was so charmed with the kitty or the kitties and the, the owls she is already done base layered with markers because i really yeah sometimes i really can have the drive to use my markers a, a bit more and these books are perfect for it and also for water lovely <laughs> those th thinner pages are just amazing for water so the background is super color and I'm going to lift you up. She doesn't have any special details, I think. I did put something on her ribbon, but I don't know what it is. Is it glossy? No, it's not glossy. No, can't remember. She has some glittery posca wings but maybe i will change it up the, the pink isn't really suitable i think so yeah this is the second one that i will be finishing i'm not sure which materials that i will be using for the tree also a base layer of uh, marker i think at first i was thinking about um, working with paints glittery paints but it, it's too much the the trunks here are too white and yeah i don't think it's a good idea and then we have the last one just started this one a few days ago because it's a new book that has come in and when i was flipping through it during my review video about it there was one picture that immediately took my attention and I knew that I wanted to start her first. And so... Oh, is she more in the back? No? Yes, she's here. I've started this picture. With the girl and the little birds. Um, I've used luminance for her skin and her hair already, also for the little birdies, and super colors for the background, and metallic paint on the leaves. If I lift up the book, you can see all the metallic details, as she already has some stickles on her face. And I even made a moon in stickles because she didn't have the impression of a moon. And I like the idea. So I'm really happy with how her skin turned out. Very soft and pale. 
And then those leaves. I'm planning to do these branches also with some metallic paint. Um, yeah, I, I think it would be, be special to do it that way. It's a bit different than I will use to. And I'm thinking about shading the leaves a little bit, not too much, because I don't want to leave them all metallic. Maybe I will do some with shading and some leaf like like they are now. Still have to think about it. So that's uh, the last whip that I have going on. So I can keep myself busy for quite some time. So these were the books and the projects that I'm working on and that I have finished recently and that weren't already published on my Instagram account. I hope you liked the video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, feel free to uh, become a subscriber. Uh, I wish you all a very lovely day. Stay safe and we will talk soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.